Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiriawan and 2022 is almost over. I'm really thankful for this year. This year I took lots of pictures in terms of photography, I bought a new camera, I went to so many different places, I traveled to so many interesting places including Iceland and I'm very thankful and grateful for this year. I'm also very thankful for all of your supports for my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing my videos, and also for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot and we've hit 7,000 subscribers this year and I'm very grateful for it. This is impossible without you guys supporting my channel. So in this video, I just wanna reflect back a little bit uh, how this year's been in terms of my micro fortress photography and video and yeah maybe I want to share my top five pictures taken using micro fortress and yeah hopefully some of these pictures are interesting enough for you and inspires you to take pictures as well and hopefully next year I'll be able to take even more great pictures like this or even better. So the first picture here is a picture of fish gathering in a pond in a local restaurant. So this is at the countryside, uh, not too far from my place, about one hour drive. And there's a restaurant with this lagoon, this pond, very beautiful restaurant, by the way, and also little cottages behind. So I'm using my Lawa 7.5 millimeter F2 with my GX85 Lumix camera right here, trying to capture this shot. My wife was feeding the fish and then I was trying to capture the moment at the right time when the fish was gathering. Uh, and also I was really interested to get this vertical composition because I think with vertical composition on pictures like this, it really brings the dimensionality, the depth, <coughs> the feeling of 3D in this picture. And yeah, because it's such a wide angle picture because the Lawa lens is quite a wide angle. I prefer to have something very strong in the foreground. And in this picture right here, the foreground of interest is actually the group of fish gathering for the food. And yeah, I really like this picture because it's just so dynamic. There's lots of colors, especially from the fish and also the combination with the sky and the cottages behind. I think this really makes an interesting picture for me and I just really like it. I like to keep it for myself as well. Next picture is a picture of two boys playing in a paddy field. This was taken at the same restaurant using my Panasonic Lumix GX85 and I have my Panasonic 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6 at that time. And there were just two boys uh, running around and I think they're playing together. I kind of heard them screaming and yelling and uh, you know make fun of each other and i was trying to photograph the paddy field at that time but upon seeing these two boys i immediately switched to my telephoto lens and tried to capture these two boys playing and i think the picture really looks nice i really love uh, the layering you know the paddy field in front and the kids at the middle and then the trees behind with the sky as a background i think it has lots of depth lots of layering also i like the paddy field uh, because they have this nice deep green colors that really complements well with the sky. I just love this picture overall and I think this is also one of my favorite keeper picture. Next favorite picture is this portrait of my wife right here. This was taken a few weeks ago at a local coffee shop. We were having a quick snack and also a few drinks right there. I was drinking milkshake and also some uh, chocolate drink as well. And we tried to find something interesting in that place. And I want to take a portrait of my wife using the GX85 again, my Panasonic Lumix GX85, as well as my favorite portrait lens, the Olympus 45mm f1.8. This was shot at f2 and I was trying to make the portrait a little bit more interesting, not just a subject with a background but also to add a little bit more uh, interesting elements into the picture uh, so I tried to add a little bit of the flowers on the foreground some branches as well in the foreground and also try to add a little bit more uh, elements in the background as well I tried to employ some 
some of the tree leaves just to try to make the picture look more dynamic and interesting without making it look too cluttered and i think i really enjoyed the result because it just looks very dreamy very surreal and also the pose of my wife was perfect at that time i really enjoyed this picture and yeah this is another favorite keeper picture as well Next favorite picture is this amazing iconic picture of the Kirkjufell mountain with the Kirkjufell falls on the front. This is my absolute favorite landscape pictures that I've ever taken. And this picture is very iconic because every time you go to Iceland, you must visit this place. And there are so many people taking these iconic photographs already. And yeah, it's, it's just so interesting for me because the composition, I think, really works. I love the placement of the Kirkjufell mountain right in the middle. And then also the Kirkjufell falls a little bit to the left and also the river. And also I love the lighting as well because at that time, it was almost evening, the sun is almost setting and we get this uh, lovely orange red light on the Kirchhoffel mountain that really adds a lot of beautiful element into the picture because of the red orange color. And also I was using Andy filter to get that smooth blurry uh, waterfall. So it was really dreamy and I really love that. And the combinations of all of these things together really create this perfect picture. Also, as you can see, the sky was uh, a little bit cloudy, but still pretty much clear with some clouds that makes a really interesting uh, composition into uh, this image. And I was using the Lava 7.5 millimeter F2 at that time. And yeah, I think the lens uh, produces really sharp result and the timing was just perfect because uh, the day after we took this picture, we tried to get back to the Kirchhoffel Falls, but it was cloudy, it was rainy, it was windy, and we cannot get this picture anymore. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite landscape picture of the year. Next favorite picture is this picture of the Skoga Falls waterfall. Again, this was taken in Iceland, I was using my Panasonic G85 with the Panasonic 14 to 140 millimeter super zoom lens. And this was just absolutely fantastic because it was perfect in so many ways. Uh, first of all, there's that rainbow and it really adds a lot to the image. It really adds a lot of color and also a very interesting thing to look at, especially uh, at the bottom part of the image. And then also I was using Andy filters, uh, trying to get that smooth, blurry uh, waterfall. And also it was clear sky with a little bit of cloud. So you get that nice deep blue color from the sky. And I think the composition was just perfect. It's a little bit tighter than I usually uh, take because I usually prefer wide angle, but this works just perfectly. And yeah, this is another favorite image of mine. Uh, certainly, I still prefer the Kirkjufell Falls picture, but this is also another iconic picture that I took from Iceland and I really, really enjoy this picture as well. Now that I've shared my top 5 images from 2022, I also want to share my top uh, cameras and lenses, my favorite, not my most used, but my favorite in 2022. First of all, definitely the Panasonic Lumix GX85. This was my absolute favorite camera in 2022 because this is a new camera by the way this is a recent purchase uh, it's uh, only a few months old but i've been using it a lot to take different kinds of pictures and three of my favorite pictures that i just showed you were taken using this camera and it's just so fantastic this is small this is lightweight not really that heavy and it has Excellent in-body stabilizer. The image quality coming out from this camera is excellent, even though it's only 16 megapixel, and also it doesn't have anti-aliasing filter, so the pictures look sharper. And yeah, I just really enjoy this camera. It's it's really fast, it's really snappy, very easy to use, and I'm really enjoying this guy right here. Another favorite camera, not necessarily the most used, but favorite is the Canon G15. Again, this is my uh, sort of new camera, but it's not really new because I already own this camera uh, from 2013. But I've been reacquiring this camera again. So I took it back from my office because I left it there for so many years and I started using it again. And I've been having a blast with the G15 
for a little bit of casual photography so yeah uh, this is just a nice camera i think the image quality although the sensor is really small it is still nice enough in my opinion i really enjoyed the pictures coming out from this it's quite snappy the manual control is excellent for a small point of shoot camera and the lens is very versatile it goes from 28 millimeter equivalent to about 120 so plenty of zoom range and it's just very convenient to have speaking of favorite lens this is not necessarily the most used but the favorite one that i really love to use and i always try to bring it out whenever i have a chance i have a few so first favorite lens is this panasonic leica 8 to 18 millimeter f 2.8 to f4 this is my favorite wide angle lens because it's just so versatile it goes from 8 millimeter wide angle focal length all the way to 18 millimeter a little bit normal wide so it's very flexible this has been really a blast to use i use it a few times this year to capture waterfalls to capture uh, travel photography as well even though i didn't bring this to iceland because i haven't owned this lens yet when i went to iceland but yes this is a perfect lens for travel photography in my opinion as well as for landscape my next favorite lens is definitely the panasonic 20 millimeter f 1.7 this is also one of my most used lens this year because it's just so small so compact very easy to use and it matches perfectly with the gx85 to create a small little combo that really takes a nice picture <laughs> and because of the large aperture of f 1.7 i can get a little bit of background blur using this lens especially for wider angle portrait with the 20 millimeter focal length and also the focal length is not too tight not too wide just perfect for all sorts of different kinds of photography and also for video as well next favorite lens is definitely the olympus 45 millimeter f 1.8 not necessarily the most favorite one but i I have to say that I'm not really a telephoto guy. I prefer wide angle lenses most of the time. Even for portrait, I prefer environmental portrait rather than taking a tighter half body portraits or something like that. But I changed my mind with the Olympus 45 millimeter because it's so easy to use. It's so nice. The image quality is just really fantastic. And also it is small. It is lightweight. As you can see, this is really small. And when you put it inside your bag, it weighs almost Almost nothing so yeah a perfect lens to add for a little bit of portrait photography and close-up photography as well honorable mention is my lawa 7.5 millimeter f2 wide angle lens this this was one of my favorite wide angle lens before i owned the panasonic leica 8 to 18 millimeter the only reason uh, why it's runner up and not really on the uh, top uh, category of my favorite lens is because it is manual focus if it's autofocus then it'll be perfect because it has a large aperture of f2 and also it is small and very compact and the picture is really sharp taken using this lens so yeah uh, because of the manual focus uh, i got some blurry pictures because i accidentally knocked out the focus ring when i was taking uh, some pictures and i ended up with pictures that are out of focus so yeah but if you don't mind manual focus then i really think this is a great great lens next i want to give a quick shout out to my favorite non micro four thirds camera gear and that is this little guy right here the dji pocket 2 this is my main vlogging camera now because it is so small it is so lightweight it's very easy to use it produces excellent video quality and it also has built-in gimbal right here so the video footages coming out from this camera are smooth and stable and i just really love it i use this a lot to record the behind the scenes of how i take some pictures uh, when i visited a nice restaurant when i want to take portraits of my wife and also when i visited some nice location that i want to photograph i recorded them all using this camera uh, and you can watch the vlogs that i recorded using the dji pocket with the link up here i think you will enjoy these vlogs some of the uh, top five images that i shared before uh, we recorded also in the vlog right here so yeah please check it out so yes that is all my top five images taken this year using my micro four thirds camera and also my favorite camera gears including my micro four thirds camera 
and non micro four thirds camera, the G15 and the DJI Pocket 2, my favorite lenses. So yeah, this has been a really interesting year. I also hope that 2022 is also an interesting year for you. And I hope that 2023 will be even better than this year. I'm really hoping that it will be another fantastic year in terms of photography where you guys can go out more often and take more pictures, more interesting pictures. You can develop new skills, try new photography, uh, genre and things like that. I really hope that it will be another interesting and nice year. And yeah, I will take a few days off after this because obviously it is Christmas and I want to celebrate it with my family and my friends. I want to have some quality time uh, with them all. So yeah, I will take a few days off from YouTube. Maybe I will still record some vlogs. So stay tuned for that. And maybe you can see some behind the scenes of how I take some pictures. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. But I will be back after New Year and hopefully uh, stronger than ever. And I will uh, produce uh, better content for you. I will try to make a uh, more interesting things in 2023 and once again i'm very thankful for you all for all of your support for my channel you guys really rocks i really appreciate all of your support uh, your comments uh, you you guys liking the video watching the video sharing it with your friends and family i'm really thankful for that so thank you very much and also merry christmas happy new year and i will see you guys again really soon thank you and goodbye